Hello everyone, this is Spluff5 here, and this is just going to be a quick video. <clears throat> um, I haven't been releasing many videos lately because uh, real life has been really busy, so yeah, but yeah, that's why I haven't been releasing videos. Um, this is not what I'm going to show you, but just to show you, I was testing a villager breeding machine. And this was supposed to be a villager curing machine that cured zombie villagers. How is he not dead? Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't work very well because they were supposed. To, the idea was um, once the zombie villagers were cured, they were supposed to turn into villagers and walk out through these doors. But um, the villagers over here. And the breeder kept opening the doors and letting the uncured zombie villagers in and they kept killing all the other villagers. Because villagers are stupid. They'd come in there, they'd let the other ones through into the rest of the breeder. And then they'd go out and go, ah, ah, why is this happening? So yeah. Anyway, what I wanted to actually show you was this. This is a double piston. Without any mods. Observe. It's super simple to make. You just need lever, some redstone like this. Uh, you have to leave that block there empty. And just a repeater here, which you click once. And you put the two pistons like that. And how this works is this piston becomes powered a um, fraction of a second after this pit comes powered. So this one will push that, but when this is already powered, and this will arrive here. The retracted piston, the second retracted piston, and it will obviously shoot out because it's got power. But then when you retract it, uh, this one here is um, not powered before this one. So the power comes out of this before it comes out of this. So then the second piston will retract, becoming one block again, and then this piston will retract, pulling it back. Unfortunately, it cannot... It can push blocks to spaces, but it can't pull them. See? Like, if you have one here, it'll be able to push it two spaces, but it can't pull it back two spaces. Because sticky pistons aren't sticky when they're just a block. Also, um, I've been trying to think of... Well, actually, no. I, let me rephrase that. I'm going to try and make a vertical one, which could be used to make, like, really cool drawbridges or something. Alright, this will be interesting. Alright, let's try that. Whoa, I'm lagging a lot. Let me just turn the render distance down. That's the difficulty, not the render distance. No wonder it was laggy. Alright. Oh yeah, duck. Try that. Interesting, but that's not what I was aiming for. What's happening? What's going wrong? Um, okay, try that. I know what's going wrong. This one here is powering this before it is supposed to be powered. All right, we'll leave that for a later, actually, no, we'll leave that for a later date. So yeah, that's been my quick little video. I'm gonna hopefully do some more little quick videos like this, where I just explain a little redstone contraption I've created. Yeah, but this has been, I guess, the first of hopefully many. 
Alright, see you guys later. Goodbye.